Welcome to the 2020 College of Education and Integrative Studies Virtual Commencement Ceremonies. Please welcome Cal Poly Pomona music students Alyssa Vasquez, Lorraine Gomez, Leslie Martinez, and Lupita Vargas, who will perform our national anthem. Please welcome Interim Dean of the College of Education and Integrative Studies, Iris Levine. Welcome to the College of Education and Integrative Studies Commencement Ceremony. I am Iris Levine, the Interim Dean of the College of Education and Integrative Studies. Today we honor our graduating seniors, master's and doctoral degree candidates. We also recognize our credential candidate recipients. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and students, I offer congratulations to all our graduates and a special welcome to the family members and friends who join us today. Graduates, this is your day, a day to celebrate. The faculty who worked with you to share the knowledge, passion, and enthusiasm for your field and the staff members who provided ongoing support for your success are so excited to see you reach this milestone. You have earned the joy that you feel today. Your dream of a university diploma, whether it be a bachelor's, master's, or doctoral degree, has become a reality. We couldn't be prouder. Congratulations. Now, I would like to call on President Coley for her welcome and introductory remarks. President Coley. On behalf of the entire Cal Poly Pomona community, faculty, staff, your fellow students, alumni, and supporters, it is my honor to welcome you to commencement and congratulate you on this life-changing accomplishment. It is no small thing to earn a college degree. It takes perseverance and a sense of purpose but what you have accomplished is indeed even more. To reach this goal under uniquely challenging circumstances demonstrates a level of commitment and resilience that will remain with you long after today. Your strength in the face of adversity now becomes part of the bedrock that will sustain you for the rest of your life. As you reflect on this achievement, I hope you will take time to consider all of those who helped you get here, your family, friends, faculty, coaches, staff, counselors, mentors, and others. Truly, our community of learners extends far beyond our campus. I congratulate you all on being part of this occasion we celebrate today. There are also people you might not know, including alumni and friends of the university 
whose support helped make your education possible. The best way to thank them is to pay it forward by helping others achieve their dreams. Likewise, I encourage you to stay close to your alma mater by becoming a part of your alumni association. You can also pay it forward by continuing to be a voice with our legislators and state leaders about the benefits for individuals, families, communities, and the entire state when we choose to invest in higher education. Likewise, at work and in your communities, you will be able to describe and demonstrate the transformative power of a college education. You will be a source of inspiration, advice, and encouragement. As we celebrate this commencement, my hope is that you will carry the joy you feel today into the world of work or into furthering your education and as lifelong learners, you will continue to exemplify the three ideals on our university seal, creativity, discovery, and innovation. Commencement is a beginning, not an end. It is a doorway into the next phase of your lives. May you do so with confidence, knowing that your experience at Cal Poly Pomona a prestigious institution of higher learning and the model for an inclusive polytechnic university will always be there as both motivation and as a guide. Your success here is only a harbinger of what you will achieve going forward. Congratulations and I wish you good health and happiness. At this time, it is my privilege to present the Julian A. McPhee Award. McPhee was the president of both Cal Poly Pomona and Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. And the award honors a graduating senior who exhibits excellence in academic endeavors. This year, the award goes to two outstanding graduating seniors and valedictorians of the College of Education and Integrative Studies, Cameron Hamm and Haley Fleischner. Cameron Hamm earned her bachelor's degree in liberal studies in spring of 2020. She spent her time at Cal Poly Pomona working as a President's Discovery Fellow, researching food access, holding office in SACE Council, and volunteering over 500 hours while operating as a working actress in national commercials, playing Ariel in regional theater production of The Little Mermaid, and as a recurring character in CBS's The Young and the Restless. She currently works in the Etiwanda School District. Cameron is grateful to family, friends, and CPP mentors, Dr. LB and Dr. Natale, for showing her the importance of perseverance in the face of adversity, and for teaching her that no kindness is too small and no dream is too big. Haley Fleischner is an aspiring teacher who graduated last spring with her bachelor's degree in liberal studies and began her multiple subject credential program in summer 2020 at Cal Poly Pomona. Haley was part of the Kellogg Chamber Singers for all four years of her undergraduate career and minored in music. Music continues to be a large part of her life today as she is still singing in her church choir. Her family, including her mom, dad, and sister are her biggest motivators and the true reason behind her success. Haley hopes to begin teaching in her own classroom in the fall 2021. Congratulations to you both. Please welcome Cameron and Haley to say a few words. Congratulations, class of 2020. I feel so humbled to be here before you today. I, like so many of us, could not have made it through my years at school without unending support. For me, it was my parents, grandparents, 
sisters, Sydney and Kimberly, and research colleagues and best friends, Callista, Melissa, and Bree, who wore that source. The class of 2020 is special for so many reasons, but one of the most important is that we endured something no one on earth has ever faced in exactly this way. We started off our years at CPP immersed in the familiar, but by the time we left, we were forced onto a path not of our choosing. We may have ended our years in school with unforeseen challenges, but today we celebrate our resilience. We celebrate each other and we honor the ones who got us here. The journeys that have unfolded for each of us over the past year may have taken us to different places in the world and places in our lives. And the path toward our cap and gown may have looked different for us than for those who came before. But that in no way distracts from the sheer magnitude of this incredible accomplishment. In fact, it will forever serve as a point of connection among us and as a reminder of just what we did. Congratulations again, Class of 2020, on your incredible accomplishments. Welcome, everyone. It's my honor to be here today representing the Class of 2020. It's time to celebrate our achievements, look back on our memories, and thank those who have supported us along the way. I would like to begin by acknowledging our mentors, professors, and administration. Without them, this would not be possible. I would like to thank God, my family, friends, professors, and mentors for sparking my love for education and helping me get where I am today. We've all worked so hard and overcome so many challenges to say that we are graduates of Cal Poly Pomona. Each person's process has been different, but we can all attest to the fact that it was not easy. Yet together, with each journey, we created friendships that will last us a lifetime. Regardless of where your life takes you, remember you earned this degree and you have the opportunity to share your gifts, knowledge, and Bronco pride with the rest of the world. In the words of John Keating from Dead Poet Society, no matter what anybody tells you, words and ideas can change the world. Congratulations once more, Class of 2020. Now let's finally celebrate. Go Broncos! Thank you, Cameron and Haley. We're now pleased to hear from the Honorable Connie Leva, who has been invited to provide the College of Education and Integrative Studies commencement address. She serves as California State Senator in the 20th State Senate District. As our State Senator, Senator Leva is committed to improving California's schools, environment, and communities, as well as creating quality jobs throughout the 20th State Senate District and California. It is my honor to introduce the Honorable Connie Leva. Hello, graduates. As the state senator representing the 20th State Senate District, it is my great honor to congratulate each and every one of you as you reach this wonderful milestone in your life. Like me, your families and other loved ones are so proud of you and all you have accomplished and the many incredible opportunities that still await you in your personal and professional journey ahead. After all, everyone's pursuit of an education is different. For me, it took five and a half years to earn my bachelor's degree, but it was such a wonderful source of pride and accomplishment once my dream of a college education became a reality. As I oftentimes tell people, no matter how long it may have taken you to get your degree or what obstacles you may have overcome along the way, no one can ever take away that amazing piece of paper that you will hopefully hang somewhere where you and others can see it often. As the chair of the Senate Education Committee, I am particularly proud to say this to you, graduates of Cal Poly Pomona's College of Education and Integrative Studies. America is always changing, as is our great state of California. And without a doubt, so too is the state of education and related fields. But I am so confident that the education you have received has more than prepared you to move forward to make your mark on the world. You are part of Cal Poly Pomona's largest campus-wide graduating class to date. And in a very real sense, 
you are truly California's future leaders. Whether you've earned your bachelor's, your master's, or even your doctorate degree, we all know that no one ever walks alone in their educational journey. Your family, your friends, your professors, your classmates, and maybe even your favorite Starbucks barista that helped you keep caffeinated during all those all-nighters. Please tell them thank you. Whatever you do in the months and years ahead, just be sure to always be true to yourself and to others. I'm reminded of a quote by Martin Luther King Jr. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. Your values and your character, coupled with your education and all you've learned along the way, will certainly help to shape your future ahead. Your journey through life will not always be easy, as it is natural that we all have ups and downs over the years. But if we treat others with kindness and respect and move through life with integrity and honesty, we will help to create a world that prioritizes community over self. Again, I offer you my heartfelt congratulations and best wishes. Thank you for allowing me to share a few words with you today. Make sure you enjoy this day because you have truly earned it. Congratulations again. Now we will transition into the reason we are all here, our graduates and the conferral of their degrees. While our ceremony may only be an hour in length, the dedication and perseverance of our graduates measure in years. The honor we are about to bestow upon you is one you should hold with pride as a degree is earned and not given. And though we may join you virtually, and some of the pomp and circumstance of our ceremonies may be missing, none of what you have earned lacks any luster. If anything, your achievements shine even brighter as you come out of the other side of this pandemic. Will the candidates for the doctoral degree in educational leadership please rise if able? President Coley, I present to you the candidates for the doctoral degree in educational leadership. These candidates have completed the requirements for the doctoral degree as prescribed by the state of California and the trustees of the California State University System and have been recommended by the faculty of California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. President Coley. Thank you, Dean Levine. Candidates for the education doctoral degree, you've heard the recommendation of the faculty of California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. And by the authority vested in me as president, I confer upon you the doctoral degree in educational leadership with all the rights, honors, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. When a doctoral degree is conferred, the scholar joins an elite few who've earned a doctoral robe. This robe, adorned by three chevrons, represents your ascension to the highest academic degree available in your field. Your efforts, intellect, and drive have earned you this rare honor. Wear it proudly. Congratulations. We will now begin the awarding of the degree, Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership, Pre-K through 12 Specialization. Selene Amancio. Rosario Ambris. Stacy Ayers. Odessa Downing. Karina Gigliotti. Tian Gong. Mastane Hazeg. Melinda Hurley. Daniel Lesho, Rosalinda Lopez, Mary Beth Murray, Fastak Mutua, Nancy Than, Sofiang Werley, Elise Zakarian. This completes the awarding of the degree, Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership, Pre K 12 Specialization. Please welcome our Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Sylvia A. Alva, who will present our master's candidates. Provost Alva.
Will the candidates for the master's degree please stand if able? President Coley, I present to you the candidates for the degree of Master of Arts in Education. These candidates have completed the requirements for the master's degree as prescribed by the state of California and the trustees of the California State University. And they have been recommended by the faculty of California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. President Coley. Thank you, Provost Alva. Candidates for the master's degree you have heard the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Education and Integrative Studies of California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. By the authority vested in me as president, I confer upon you the degree of Master of Education with all the rights, honors, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. When a master's degree is conferred, the scholar joins a select few who've earned a master's hood. This hood represents your accomplishments, expertise, and scholarship. Wear it with pride as it has been well earned. Congratulations. We will now begin the awarding of the degree Master of Arts in Education. Katya Aguilar, Robert Andrade, Gerald Clint Balanci, Barry Bell III, Jonathan Capragosi, Casey DeSalvio, Courtney Howe Jr., Vanessa Johnson, Joshua Kigi, Kurt Clausen, Catherine Kowalinski, Kathy Latham, April Nichols, Camilla O'Connor, Alma Padilla, Diane Ranallo, Christina Roldan, Carla Ruiz, Elizabeth Sarmiento, Jason Tello, Sarah Torres, Ramon Verdusco, Laura Wood, Yushin Zhou. This completes the awarding of the degree Master of Arts in Education. And now will the candidates for the bachelor's degrees please rise if able. President Cooley, I present the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts in Early Childhood Studies, Gender, Ethnicity, and Multicultural Studies, and Liberal Studies. These candidates have completed the requirements for this respective degree as prescribed by the State of California and the trustees of the California State University. They have been recommended for their degree by the faculty of California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. President Coley. Thank you, Dean Levine. Candidates for the baccalaureate degrees, you've heard the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Education and Integrative Studies of California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. By the authority vested in me as president, I confer upon you the degrees of Bachelor of Arts in Early Childhood Studies, Gender, Ethnicity, and Multicultural Studies, and Liberal Studies, with all the rights, honors, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. In academic tradition, the student who has not yet earned a degree wears the mortarboard tassel on the right side. When the degree is conferred, the scholar moves the tassel to the left and joins a select company. In recognition of your new status, will each recipient of the baccalaureate degree please move your tassel to the left. Congratulations. We will now begin the awarding of the degree Bachelor of Arts in Early Childhood Studies. Samantha Adame. Catherine Aguilar, magna cum laude. Raquel Alba Hernandez. Crystal Francesca Almanza, cum laude. Stephanie Alvarado. Mariah Aquino, cum laude. Taylor Avila, magna cum laude. Leah Benavides. Elva Cardenas. Catalina Carillo. Elizabeth Contreras, cum laude. Audrey Cruz, magna cum laude. Jacqueline Diaz Lopez. Cassandra Dominguez. Denise Duenas. Rachel Elias. Colette Garcia. Michelle Garcia, 
cum laude. Yvonne Gomez. Amanda Gonzalez. Marissa Herodine. Elizabeth Hernandez. Bianca Hernandez, cum laude. Lydia Hernandez. Maria Hernandez, cum laude. Gabrielle Hooper, cum laude. Brianna Isabel. Elizabeth Jimenez. Nicholas Lowe. Maria Lopez Ibarra. Christina Loven Pearl, cum laude. Karina Lovato. Abigail Ludlow, summa cum laude. Diana Mock, cum laude. Jasmine Maciel. Natalie Mesa Avila. Stephanie Mondragon. Samantha Moore. Jesus Munoz. Kaylee Muraoka, cum laude. Randa Najjar. Laura Ochoa. Brianna Ortega. Veronica Pina. Allison Prado, cum laude. Melissa Quesada. Katia Ramirez, magna cum laude. Carla Ramos. Sofia Ruiz Mata, cum laude. Mega Sani. Jessica Saldana. Rebecca Salgado. Alondra Sepulveda Moya, magna cum laude. Jeanette Serrano. Karina Serrano. Vivian Tapia. Julianne Tevis. Verena Torres. Anna Vaca Caudillo, cum laude. Priscilla Valles. Lorraine Vallada, cum laude. This completes the awarding of the degree, Bachelor of Arts in Early Childhood Studies. We will now begin the awarding of the degree, Bachelor of Arts in Gender, Ethnicity, and Multicultural Studies. Natalia Anglin, magna cum laude. Yvonne Anzures, cum laude. Perla Arcia Valencia. Luna Armas, summa cum laude. Christopher Bedoya. Jennifer Bayardo. Regina Bradford. Erica Castillo Rico. Marilyn Chi. David De La Torre. Brenda Esparza. Victor Espinosa Jr. Alex Kassam, summa cum laude. Amanda Lara. Cecilia Lopez. Michelle Lopez, cum laude. Stephanie Marancio. Monica Moran. Christina Orozco. Isela Rosa Suarez, cum laude. Erica Sanchez Gotia. Andrew Trinidad, the first. Alexandria Udi. Giselle Verdusco. This completes the awarding of the degree, Bachelor of Arts in Gender, Ethnicity, and Multicultural Studies. We will now begin the awarding of the degree, Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Studies. Reina Alt. Cynthia Altamirano. Alex Avalos. Wendy Aspetia. Cynthia Barajas. Jeanette Barajas. Savannah Barba. Jocelyn Barrios Castaneda. Elizabeth Becker, summa cum laude. Brooke Bernal. Troy Bethel. Scott Brashear. Annalisa Camacho. Daniela Carlin. Emily Carlin. Estefania Carillo. Mariel Castillo, magna cum laude. Hope Chalfant. Tracy Charles. Jun Yuk Choi. Savannah Clark, magna cum laude. Evelyn Conde. Brittany Copas. Ryan Cortez, magna cum laude. Jayla Cruz. Katrina Dald, magna cum laude. JL Delgado. Samantha Delgado. Ariseli Diaz the first, cum laude. Sarah Duran. Jessica Didasco. Natasha Emerson, cum laude. Wendy Esparza Gutierrez. Candice Espericueta. Cheyenne Farnsworth, summa cum laude. Linda Fiker. Haley Fleshner, Julian McPhee Scholar, summa cum laude. Bianca Flores. Priscilla Flores. Stephanie Flores. Samantha Ford. Margarita Fuentes, cum laude. Nina Galarza. Christine Garcia. Catherine Garcia, summa cum laude. Judith Gomez. Lauren Gonzalez. Thomas Gonzalez. Anthony Grigo, magna cum laude. Carly Grospitz. Alyssa Gutierrez. Julie Ha, magna cum laude. Cameron Ham, Julian McPhee Scholar, summa cum laude. Tara Harbison, summa cum laude. Stephanie Hargrove. Brianne Hendricks, magna cum laude. Andres Hernandez. Calista Ho, summa cum laude. Kellogg Honors College. Victoria Hopman. Elisa Huerta. Eric Jones. Nicole Kennedy, summa cum laude. Christina Cromberg, cum laude. Summer Larrabee. Christy Law, summa cum laude. Camille Lee. Che Lee. 
Ty Loomis. Jimena Lopez Acosta, cum laude. Samantha Luli, magna cum laude. Marlene Luna. Amy Ma. Arlene Macias. Jasmine Mays. Colin Marshall. Sasha Martinez. Priscilla Mata, magna cum laude. Dynasty McDowell. Scott McKinney. Courtney McSweeney, cum laude. Sandy Melgar. Cora Mitchell, summa cum laude. Emmanuel Montez. Ileana Montez, summa cum laude. Kellogg Honors College. Rebecca Moran. Monica Munive. Catlin Murray. Claire Nguyen. Maria Nolasco. Anna Nuno. Mireya Ocampo, magna cum laude. Mackenzie O'Donnell, cum laude. Jacqueline Alvera. Dominic O'Neill, cum laude. Taylor Ortiz. Karen Osorno. Megan Pearson. Alejandra Perez. Brandon Feifroth. Melissa Provancha, cum laude. Julissa Quintana. Brenda Quiros. Gabriela Ramirez. Jacqueline Ramirez, cum laude. Monique Ramirez. Jennifer Reyes. Oscar Ricardo. Priscilla Rivas. Sofia Rodriguez. Jasmine Rose. Beatriz Sines. Andrea Samano Arismendi. Monica Sanchez, magna cum laude. Madison Seibert, cum laude. Sarah Sessions. Alejandra Sotelo. Jessica Southward. Michelle Srosinski. Katie Stein, cum laude. Yao Su. Samantha Sai. Nareda Taylor. Caitlin Tran. Alejandra Vargas. Elsie Vasquez. Diana Velasco Medina. Amanda Villanueva. Jimmy Vu, magna cum laude. Julie Vu. Haley Waite, the first. Daniel Weber. Sky Wilhelm. Ryan Willison. Krista Woodward. Justin Young. This completes the awarding of the degree Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Studies. Again, our congratulations and best wishes to all of our graduates. I wish to welcome you as our alumni and invite you to join the Cal Poly Pomona Alumni Association to maintain your ties to your university. I want to emphasize that you, the graduates, are lifetime members of our Cal Poly Pomona community. While you may move on to graduate studies, to be a lawyer, a teacher, a social worker, an entrepreneur, a Peace Corps volunteer, or an activist for those whose voices cannot otherwise be heard, please know that you have proven that you are resilient and persistent. Congratulations and bravo to you all. Please join me in congratulating the College of Education and Integrative Studies graduating class. As we conclude, I ask all the graduates to give one more big cheer and please enjoy a final congrats from our entire Cal Poly Pomona community. With all the rights, honors, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Congratulations. Congratulations, Cal Poly Pomona graduates. We did it. We did it. You did it. You are now alumni. Be proud of your accomplishment. Cherish this moment. Because under normal circumstances, completing your college education is not easy. But we did not graduate under normal circumstances, did we? In addition to the normal challenges of college, this global pandemic made things a lot tougher. Tough times do not last. Tough people do. And you're tough. You could have quit, but you didn't. We stayed focused. We adapted. And ultimately, we succeeded. Walk tall, Broncos. You're champions today. Because if you got through this, there's nothing you can't get through. And now it's time to transition into your future career with the confidence that you can conquer whatever challenges life brings. You have made us proud. You have made all of us proud. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, Cal Poly Pomona graduates. From one proud Bronco to another, my sincerest congratulations on your graduation. Now go out, do great things, and make us all proud.